Shairam Manoj sir, good evening to you and uh, good morning to everyone here in the US. Uh, the month of August is a very special month for us back home when we celebrate our independence from the British and a very happy Independence Day mm. to all of you in advance. And um, in this m mood of celebration, I'm sure we'll, re we'll um, listen to someone exceptional today who probably may not be as uh, celebrated as he or she should be. I'm sure Sir is going to take care of that. So over to you, Manoj Sir. Namaskar and thank you so much, Seshadri ji. Of course, uh, just to clarify, uh, Seshadri ji said good evening to me. Uh, it's only because I am in India currently for the next three months until November. And obviously, as all of you know, it's night time in India and which is why Seshadri ji said good evening to me. So, yeah. But... Uh, Wishing everybody a very, very happy Independence Day in advance. We move on to the artists for today. We all are aware of the legendary singer Pandit Kumar Gandharvaji. He's one of my all time favorites. You know, the kind of singing that he does. And the purity in his notes is something that is unparalleled. But we are not going to talk about him today. We are going to talk about somebody and I'll tell you why I mentioned Pandit Kumar Gandharvaji's name a little later. So, uh, the singer for today is someone who had a very difficult start to his career and had lots and lots of difficulties and challenges that he had to face most of it because of his temperamental nature. But later on, currently, he's in a stage of his life where he's realized probably that the only goal of his life is to actually fathom the source of a rag, so to say, meaning what's the real uh, source from where the rag originates? Expired if can't start in sense. Or Somebody is unmuted, so if you could please mute yourself, please. Thank you. So, um, So he is now in the process of really searching for the real source of each and every swar that emanates from every ra. So he is almost leading a very saintly life now after all the troubles and problems that he faced in his earlier life or early part of his career. But even then when he was going through all these troubles and tribulations and challenges, I remember my Guruji, Pandit Prabhakar Karekarji telling me that he attended this artist's program once. And the program was supposed to start at 9.30 but uh, the artist came two hours late because apparently he was stuck somewhere in a bar drinking. 
everybody was very upset because the program started late because the artist came late but he did not care but apparently once he started to sing on stage everybody just forgot all those waiting times that they had and the singing was of such extraordinary quality that people were just taken to a totally different zone altogether and this is something that my guruji said himself first hand but of course now the artist for today is past all that and he is as i mentioned earlier seeking the real source of all the rags and the swars which make up a rag and whom i'm whom am i talking about none other than the son of pandit pandit kumar gandharva ji about whom i spoke in the beginning of the program his son and someone who is still very much among us and i'm sure we are going to hear much more of his music in times to come pandit mukul shivputra yes pandit mukul shivputra ji and we are going to talk about his singing today so of course as we move on uh, as all of you who hear uh, these sessions regularly you are aware that we slowly uh, as we present each and every clip of the artist we talk about the artist about his style of singing and uh, several other facets of his vocal prowess so let's start our session for today with pandit mukul shivputra ji presenting for us a very 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 popular rag rag bageshri and in fact the composition that we are going to listen two compositions actually both set to teen tal 16 beat cycle the first one being in madhyale middle tempo ritu basant tum apne umang so pi dhoondhan mein nik si ghar so and the second composition that he sings for us is gund laori malaniya and rag bageshri is, is is in fact sung uh exactly at this time when we are in india over here that is night time and it goes something like this sagamadha dhani dhani sa saag mag re nidhani sa so this is rag bageshri and let's listen to pandit ji sing this very very beautiful rag and the two very amazing compositions slash box heading 03 watch all the Somebody is uh, unmuted. If you could please mute yourself. Thank you. File info. Zero one rock batches three MP three thirty. Select slash back up button. Ah. Ah, 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 ah,
ಸಾಧನಿದ ಮಧಾಮದ ಸಾಧನಿದ ಗಗನಿ ಗಗನಿ ಸಾಗದನಿದ ನೇದ ಭೂಡನು ಮಿಕಸಿ ಗಲ್ಲು ಗಾಗೋ ಮಗಲ ಜಾರ 
something different right i actually forgot to give like a uh, heads up to all the listeners that you're going to listen to something totally different that you would not have heard ever before and probably you got uh, a proof of why i would have said that at the beginning or i wish to say that at the beginning and i didn't <laughs> because this kind of singing is so unique so pandit kumar gandharva ji was a very very legendary singer as all of us know 
and we are talking about his son today pandit mukul shiv putra ji so if we hear pandit kumar gandharva ji and if we hear pandit mukul ji you realize that there are such distinct traces of the style of his father that he follows at the same time he is not copying him because as he is himself said in his interviews that there is no way that he can copy his dad right so nobody copies an artist nobody can copy the 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 voice of an artist the least you can do is try to study the expression that the artist is trying to present and try to get it in you by constant introspection and of course by riaz right so so very unique style of singing that we heard just now from pandit mukul shiv putra ji so you heard like lots of fast sudden upsurge of swars right it's almost like you know uh uh how should i say i'm, I'm just trying to think of a comparison so i think the thing that comes to my mind right now is that you're going in a car on a quiet road and suddenly like a fast truck just zips past and you know so when you're listening to him sing you know peaceful some uh, nice soothing swars and suddenly he would just burst into spurts of absolute fast moving tans right so it's that kind of a singing that pandit mukul shiv putra ji presents for us which is so unique and you don't get to hear this very often and that is exactly the reason why we thought that we should present pandit ji for all of you right so you will find these experiences that i just spoke about in couple of the other presentations that you will hear from him and the next one that he is going to sing for us is a composition in madhyalay rupak which is a seven beat cycle and this is based on a rag called rag tilak kamod uh, we have talked about this rag before uh, rag des is a more popular rag which is very similar to tilak kamod <clears throat> and i think in one of the previous episodes i had tried to explain the difference between des and tilak kamod but just to repeat that so rag des which is the more popular rag will go something like ni sa re ma ga re re ma pa ni da pa da ma ga re ga ni pa ni sa re ni da pa ma pa ni sa re ma pa da ma ga re ga ni sa so that is rag des for you so as you noticed i halted quite a bit on re whereas in tilak kamod i am going to halt more on ga and that is the basic difference between the two even if the swars may be the same so tilak kamod would go something like pani sare ga sa sare pa ma pa ga sare ga sa re ma pa dha ma pa sa pa dha ma pa ga sare ma pa dha ma pa ga sare pa ma pa ga sare re ga sa so this is rag tilak kamod for you and pandit ji is going to sing for us another very popular composition it's called sura sangat rag vidya 
So let's listen to Pandit Ji singing this in Raag Tilak Ka Amod. Island zero to Raag Tilak Ka Amod. Select the slash back up button. Saga. So, on the one hand, where he, uh, where we heard Rag Bageshri, in which we heard those fast-paced tans from Panditji, here was Rag Tilak Kamod, which was just like a very peaceful. It's almost like the way I look at it is like you know, like a deep sea. 
in which you just hear the water flow and the waves just like uh, cajoling the water, you know, so to say, absolutely just relaxing, very peaceful, and it's like a huge seabed with a lot of depth. You know, it's that kind of singing that we heard just now from Panditji. So it's just another facet of his singing that we are trying to present for you. And now, this one. Get ready because we are again going to hear some absolute fast-paced dance. And this is in Rak Todi. Now, normally, Rak Todi you would associate uh, with the feeling of pathos and like a, a very melancholy, sad feel. But here we have Panditji singing for us absolutely lively tarana, which is typically used for dance purposes, right? So this is in Drut Teen Tal, 16 beat cycle. And of course, Rag Todi, also called as Mia Ki Todi. Uh, I'm sure all of you have heard this very, very popular rag. So this is Rag Miyaki Todi and let's listen to this exhilarating Tarana by Panditji set to Drut Tintal.
So exhilarating, right? In the previous smooth, peaceful Tilak Kamod to this absolutely riveting, fast paced Tarana in Rag Todi. So that's, you know, that's, that's what all these geniuses are made up of, right? They have so many amazing facets and they keep surprising you. Suddenly you try to stylize them into one particular category and then they just surprise you by the sheer genius in something totally different that you would never have expected them to do, right? So that's exactly why they are who they are, right? So now the interview. So I tried to get the clippings of his interviews, but couldn't find an appropriate one. So I have tried to get a three minute clip in which the interviewer uh, is not very clearly heard. So we, we just had to pick up the questions based on the answers that Panditji gives. So let's try to listen to this interview and just his inputs about his father's singing and how open he was taught to be and not to be restrictive in his approach. So let's listen to what Panditji has to say. 04 interview MP3, 8, select slash, tap a button. I 
उन्होंने भी बालर घराने का आज बताया है कि वो बालर घराने की गाय थी उनकी थी वो भी मानते हैं परंतु उन्होंने ये हमें नहीं सिखाया कि अपनी गाय की को आप बालर घराने तक ही सीमित रखें या कोई दूसरे घराने की बंदिश अगर आपको सीखने को मिले तो आपको न गाएं ऐसा कुछ नहीं ऐसी नकारात्मक भूमिका नहीं है सकारात्मक भूमिका कोई अपनाया है कोई भी यदि नई विधा दिखती है तो उसको अपने आत्मसात करना चाहिए या अपने में से भी कोई यदि क्रिएटिव प्रोसेस चालू होता है व्यक्ति ऊर्जा भी करता है तो उसको अपने पोषक ऐसे प्रयत्न करना चाहिए कोई भी नई विधा यदि चले है और इसी से गाय की या संस्कृति ख्याल से मजबूत होती है यदि कोई नई चीज उसमें आए तो उसको अपनाना या कोई नई संस्कृति का व्यक्ति या नई स्कूल का आदमी अगर दूसरे स्कूल को आके समझता है थर्ड पर्सन उसको पहले वो देखता है उसके बाद में वो आत्मसात करता है और आत्मसात होने के बाद में वही उसके अंदर से बाहर निकल पाता है तो ये जो बाहर निकलना है इसके साथ साथ उसकी ओरिजिनलिटी जुड़ी हुई होती है तो वो जो ओरिजिनलिटी है वो जो अलगपन है वही योगदान है कला के क्षेत्र में या संस्कृति के क्षेत्र में वो जो अलगपन भी है वो उसका योगदान होता है तो, तो, तो कोई भी परंपरा ऐसी नहीं है कि वो वैसे की वैसी है उस तक कुछ सोर्सेस आके मिलते भी रहते हैं और कुछ सोर्सेस निकलते भी नहीं जैसे कार्यक्रम का वो एक बार का एक बार हम्म मौसम भी मौसम भी बाहर है हम्म जाती रहती है काम कोई सोर्स हम्म और लोग जो के काम इस तरह के रंग का जो तुम्हीं रंग है हम्म वो काफी लोग के रहा है मौसम का एक्सा सर्वाइव के लिए भी भाई ऐसा है वो समय और राग का संबंध और ऋतु और राग का संबंध ये दो बातें ऐसी हैं कि वो राग और संगीत ये जो अपना है ये कितना नेचुरल है इस बात की पुष्टि करता है तो जितनी सी बात है वो बात उसमें से अच्छी प्रस्थापित हुई नहीं तो आप ऐसी परीक्षा कर सकते हैं कि भाई तोड़ी सुबह क्यों गाया जाता है तो तोड़ी का सुबह से कोई संबंध है भैरव का सुबह से कोई संबंध है वैसे मल्हार का उस वर्षा ऋतु से कुछ संबंध है इस बात की इस प्रकार के ऋतु मालिका के कार्यक्रम में पुष्टि हुई इस तरह से कैसा अटूट संबंध है संगीत का इस बात की इसलिए वो अपनी जगह की रचनाएं और वो कार्यक्रम बहुत उच्ची कोटि की कला है heard what he was saying about as to how his father never taught him to be restrictive and he always encouraged him to listen to all kinds of compositions and not just remain restricted and rigid and stuck with just one style of singing and that's a very very important aspect of any art for that matter and that's what pandit ji said that when you try to have your a uh, creative approach that then becomes your original approach right so in a way you are creating a new path not just for yourself but for people who would listen to you later on and maybe they might get inspired from your path and make their own path and that's how the creative flow just continues and grows right so after that short clipping of his interview pandit ji is going to present for us a very very popular folk style semi classical composition sung by many many singers and it's called jamuna kinare mora gaon saavare ajayyo wherein the devotee is calling out to lord krishna to come at his door to visit his village so let's listen to pandit ji sing this very beautiful composition set to kehrwa taal 2803 selected 0405 somewhere ajayyo mp3 13.4 
Selected. Zero five seven five eight nine one eight. So another facet of Pandit Ji, right? So from the fast dance to the peaceful. singing of alaps to this very very delicate intricate composition a very folkish composition in which he so beautifully brought out the emotions of a longing devotee for the lord right so that was saavare aijayo for us and to conclude as always we finish with rag bhairavi in which pandit mukul shivaputra ji sings for us a thumri it's almost like a devotional thumri set to bhajni kehrwa eight beats so here is pandit ji with rag mishra bhairavi thumri silent 06 rag bhairavi thumri mp
Wow, wow, wow. Let's really bow down to this amazingly gifted maestro that we are so fortunate to have amongst us even today. And you know, we really, really hope and pray that uh, Pandit Mukul Shri presents for us many, many more such gems. And more importantly, he is heard by more and more and more people, right? That is the whole purpose of bringing all these amazing artists for you that we don't remain stuck with any particular artist or particular style of singing, but we always keep exploring and we never know. Someday you will suddenly realize that, wow, there is so much hidden here, so much untapped jewels, gems hidden among us. So once again, my most humble respects to Pandit Mukul Shri And with this, we conclude our session for today, which was episode number 34. And the episode for next month will be episode number 35 to be presented on September 10th, second Sunday of September. Same time, 12 noon Eastern, that is 9.30 p.m. IST. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay peaceful and happy and happy listening and happy exploring. Dhaniwad and Namaskar.